these notes are about how to multiply and divide complex numbers. Recall that a complex number is made up of a real part and an imaginary part. So here I have two complex numbers and we are going to multiply them together. You might already have a feeling of what you would like to do. You can almost consider these two binomial expressions. We know how to multiply two binomial expressions. We have to use that kind of double distribution. So we can multiply the 2 times the 5, we get 10. 2 times negative 2i would give us negative 4i. 3i times 5 gives us positive 15i. And positive 3i times negative 2i is negative 6i squared. So for each part of that multiplication, we were multiplying those real numbers together and then in that last term, i times i is, of course, i squared. So for that first step, it's i is really just acting almost like an x in a binomial expression. But now, let's see if we can simplify this. Negative 4i plus 15i, those are like terms, and that gives us positive 11i. Negative 6i squared can also be simplified. Remember from a previous video that i squared is equal to negative 1. It's a very important fact when we're working with imaginary and complex numbers. So negative 6i squared becomes negative 6 times negative 1, because i squared is negative 1. Notice we now have 10 plus 11i plus 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 gives us a positive 6. We can now combine the real parts to get 16, and the imaginary part is 11i. So we simplified our two complex numbers that we multiplied to get 16 plus 11i. Here we have another example. Let's multiply 2 plus 3i times 2 minus i. Using what we did before, we would get 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i. 3i times positive 2 is positive 6i. 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. Take a look at what happened to our middle terms. Negative 6i plus 6i is 0. So this just becomes 4 minus 9i squared. But remember, i squared is negative 1. So this becomes a 4 plus 9 or 13. Did you guess that when we multiply two complex numbers, sometimes the imaginary parts go away? Well, that does happen in this case. And you can probably see why that happened. The negative 6i canceled out with a positive 6i. If we look back at our two original complex numbers that we multiplied, we can see similarities between them. 2 plus 3i looked kind of similar to 2 minus 3i. We just had a sign change in the middle. Those are known as complex conjugates. Complex conjugates are complex numbers that have the same real part and imaginary part, except I guess they have opposite imaginary parts. So the sign in between them would be negative. So they're of the form a plus bi and a minus bi. Those two complex numbers are complex conjugates. And you'll notice that when you multiply complex conjugates together, you get just a real number. No more imaginary parts. So you might uh, multiply a plus bi, a minus bi, see what you get. But we notice that um, it's kind of nice to multiply those together, because then there's no more imaginary part left. Let's take a look at how we might divide complex numbers. Here we have my favorite, 2 plus 3i, divided by 5 minus 2i. Right now, um, it's not fully simplified, because we still have this imaginary or this complex number in our denominator. What could we multiply that fraction by in order to uh, get rid of the imaginary part in the denominator? 
Luckily, we just talked about complex conjugates, and we know that if we multiply two complex conjugates together, then the imaginary part goes away. So I would really like to multiply that denominator by 5 plus 2i. That is its complex conjugate. You might want to make a note to yourself that that's what we're doing here. Multiply denominator by its complex conjugate. But we have a problem. We can't just multiply We can't just multiply the denominator by something. We're only allowed to multiply by, uh, by 1. That's the only number that won't change the value of our expression. So if we're multiplying the denominator by 5 plus 2i, we also have to multiply the numerator by 5 plus 2i. So maybe you could add to your notes that you're multiplying the denominator by the complex conjugate and the numerator as well. So what we're actually doing, if you look at what we just multiplied by, is this was really just a form of 1. 5 plus 2i over 5 plus 2i, that's just 1. So it's okay that we're multiplying the top and the bottom by that. What I like to do is now just remind myself that I'm really doing a multiplication of binomial expressions. And we can now use what we know about how to multiply complex numbers to figure out what our numerator and denominator is. Our numerator, let's say we have 10 plus 4i plus 15i plus 6i squared over our denominator. 25 plus 10i minus 10i minus 4i squared you probably knew that those 10 i's were going to cancel out because of the fact that we picked a conjugate to multiply by. So let's see what we now get. Our numerator becomes 10 plus 19i plus 6i squared. But remember, i squared is negative 1, so that's really a minus 6. Over 25 minus 4i, but remember, i squared is negative 1, so that's really a 25 plus 4. So now let's see, we have 10 minus 6 is 4, and then we have plus 19i in the numerator, all over 29. This counts as a division problem, because notice there's no more um, complex number in the denominator. It's just that real number, 29. So we're technically done. If you wanted to write this in a plus bi form, we can really see that our real part is 4 29ths, and our imaginary part is 19 29ths i. You might want to separate it like that so you can really see that it is in the form a plus bi. It is still a complex number. So overall, after completing the division, we still have a complex number, but we're able to express it um, in a familiar form because our denominator is no longer complex. Our denominator is just, just has the real part now. So remember our strategy. We wanted to look for the complex conjugate of the denominator, multiply the numerator and the denominator by that value, and then you can complete your division. Notice you needed to know something about multiplication in order to do this. Good luck!